You hear those chill beats? That's right. Morning Reflections is back, and I'm back doing my God-given gift of talking <laughs> Welcome to Morning Reflections. I am your host, the Fat Mantis. That's right. Surprise, bitch. Bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. It is my duty to talk about the news, politics, culture, conspiracies, and other things like that, which is why I am now vowing to have a weekend edition. The weekend edition will always be one segment of me just talking smack about whatever's in the news nowadays. The rest all week long, you're gonna count on those excellent, most awesome reviews. I'll still be dressing up, acting like a fool, watching Watchmen, American Horror Story, The Mandalorian, hitting up major movies like Star Wars. It's all gonna keep happening. However, I promise I will give you this. So I'm gonna talk about presidential watch. That's right, that's our first topic of the day. And I'm gonna tell you, have you seen these videos? That's right, that is Tulsi Gabbard working out. And doesn't that make you wanna vote for her? Doesn't that make you feel like she is the right woman for the job? That is absolutely true. And as a result, she has my vote. Now, I'm gonna tell you what my presidential predictions for the future are, since we know most of these yahoos on, on the debate stage are going nowhere. I mean, they might make, you know, secretary, you know, secretary of whatever, um, but they're, you know, they're, they're not really gonna make it. So my prediction is, for the presidency, Tulsi Gabbard in 2020, she is gonna be our next president, absolutely. Followed by 2024, we're gonna have Kanye West with his VP pick of Megyn Kelly. Oh yeah, you heard it there. And then 2028, whether you like it or not, it's gonna be Ivanka. I mean, let's just say that. We all know it's ramping up to that. I think it's time that we just finally accept that. Now, these presidential picks are provided we are able to avoid the apocalypse that Taylor Swift and her dreaded father are going to do about us, which is, moves me to my next point. Satan watch with Taylor Swift, that's right. So I've been I've been monitoring what she's about, what type of satanic nonsense she's been cramming down our kids' throats. And I have come to the conclusion there isn't much news. However, I heard she had a boyfriend and I was like, I didn't know she had a boyfriend. Who is this guy? A billionaire? Uh, a, a, you know, some guy who controls a medical conglomerate, some, you know, I don't know, an astronaut, something like that. So I look it up and it's this actor and his name is Joe Alwyn. And I was like, I've never, I don't know who this guy is. I look at his image, don't know who he is. And you know why that is? It's because he's a nobody. He is a big, fat loser. I mean, he's not, you know, he's been in stuff, but has he really been in stuff, if you know what I mean? Like, you have to really, you have to factor that in. Look at him and his bummy clothes. Get some real clothes, you bum. I find it interesting that she, you know, in the later on in her life, she's now choosing to date losers or nobodies. And I, you know what it is? I've dated chicks like this. When I have been down and out, not that I'm you know, super successful right now, but I have dated chicks like this and they are only interested. They always wanna be in control. They always wanna be on top. So she's never gonna uh, date someone who's on her caliber, on her level. She's always gonna date someone who's underneath her. And this, this Joe fellow is her latest loser. And I, I can tell what's going on. She's one of those chicks that she wants to dominate everything. She wants to control everything. I bet she orders for him at restaurants. Oh, they're having a nice dinner right there. You know who's paying for that dinner? Your girlfriend, because you ain't got no job. I bet she does all sorts of matter of stuff like that. You know, I, I know what it is, probably like in the bedroom. She probably keeps him in a cage. She probably has like a, a sex swing. She, she, she call, you know, she probably steps on him with her high heels. <sighs> oh, woo! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was making myself uh, Randy right there. Tay Tay is such a good role model for the girls that she is essentially telling them to always date under their stature. So basically telling every high school girl you should pick up that homeless guy or that hobo who lives under the bridge on your way to your high school. Cause that's what real women do. Way to go, Swifty. 
Um, but the point is, is that that is what Taylor Swift is all about. Because once again, as we know, Satan and his children are about one thing, and it is complete dominance of the world. But of people, and it comes down to every relationship. Just as she needs to control her gaggle of of, of hoe bags who, who ride with her, she needs to be in control of every aspect of it. And I, you know, I know the type. I absolutely know the type, man. Um, but honestly, um, we are moving on to the next tidbit, and this is an interesting one. So this is a basically your culture wars going on. So very recently, John Legend and uh, Kelly Clarkson, who are legends of their own right, absolutely. Back in the day, they certainly have had amazing careers and done amazing things for, for uh, you know, the, the genres and the groups that they, they claim to have allegiance to. Um, I mean, not so much nowadays. Now they're just figureheads. They're just writing on their old fame. They haven't done anything interesting lately, but they just produced a new song together, a duet of it's a new politically correct version of Baby It's Cold Outside. <laughs> now the reason I'm laughing is I've heard the lyrics and I don't know if you've heard the lyrics. I'm gonna put them up right here on the side. Um, and it is just utterly ridiculousness. It's just, uh, it's other, other, otherworldly, silliness I, I don't even know how to get into get into it with you with this so um what it is is there was all these politically correct ways of doing it and like the guy the guy like one you know obviously the the premise of the song is that a guy is trying to hook up with a girl and his argument is you shouldn't leave our date it's cold outside baby chill with me i'll warm you up um, you know, and, and that's what it is. And I, I admit that if you watch the scene from the movie that it's from, um, it, it is when it's portrayed, that looks a little, because he's handy, the guy's really handy. But the song is innocuous on its own. Um, but politically correct people are saying that it's evil and it's Me Too-ish and, and all these things. So they rewrote it where um, there's literally parts where he's constantly saying, uh, you can do what you want, it's all good. Uh, get home safe. Uh, thanks for a nice evening. And then literally at one point, he like, she's like, maybe I'll have one more drink. And he's like, baby, it's your body. It's your choice. <laughs> Just to hammer more politics into something non-political like the Christmas season. So what it is, is <laughs> This is just another example of culture decaying. The good news, the good, the absolute good news is that people are rejecting it. Seems to be being pan, uh, you know, panned across the board. People are laughing their asses off on, on this whole thing. Um, which I, I am proud, I'm proud of the people for fighting back because quite frankly, I will not, quite frankly, I am so against this type of situation. I'm gonna get one of those old school 80s boom boxes and I'm going to be blasting Baby It's Cold Outside literally everywhere I go. I'm gonna be cramming it down everybody's throats. My neighbors are gonna be, if they're not already, sick of my ass, straight up, yo. <laughs> That's right, because we are moving into the cold season. I'm, I, I'm sure you guys are getting blasted with this Arctic blast. And if you are cold right now, I'm gonna wrap it up with these words. Make yourself some hot cocoa, maybe put a little bourbon in that sucker, and then you know stay home by the fire. If, you, if you're in the city, hopefully you, you don't have a fire in your apartment, <laughs> but uh, cuddle up with your girl or your guy and cuddle up, you know, you know firmly grab the buttocks and hold them tight and be with them and, and just stay warm to, you know, you know in this situation, because it is madness outside. Unfortunately, I, I have a day job, so I have to go there. Um, so just pray for me. But if you can stay inside, especially with your loved one, do so. Now remember, Morning Reflections is back, but the reviews will not stop. So if you need reviews on the latest and greatest pop culture phenomenon on television, just, just come on to voice of the fat mantis that is all i love you all go forth and live the dream love one another remember to spank that like button share this baby subscribe to this channel and keep it real ciao for now